So y'all, I watched Married to Medicine last night. And I have to tell you, I am so disgusted with Scott Metcalf, honey. I am so disgusted. I said this morning on Twitter, I don't know if I tweeted it. There's a peacock. Let me get it. Let me get it. Let me get it. Let me get it. Look. See it? I don't want him to run out in the street. Please don't run out into the street, girl. Please. <laughs> so pretty that's not a girl you know peacocks with the feathers those are boys those are boys those are boys with the feathers <laughs> they love to show the girls honey they love to show the girls and the boys honey like look at me look at my feathers honey honey look at all of this glory for the girls honey apparently scott got glory for the girls too i wish a motherfucker would tell me Y'all, what would you do if your husband told y'all he was seeing a life coach <laughs> for six or seven months that you that he hasn't paid because you haven't seen any receipts, right? Because y'all haven't seen any receipts. What would you do if your husband or your significant other told you they were seeing a life coach? I don't give a damn the gender or not. The, the mere fact that you acted like you wasn't with it, you don't want to go to therapy, da 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 but all of a sudden, you see somebody that you ain't paid, that you ain't pay a woman that you talk to, that you ain't got to pay. What you paying her with, Scott? <laughs> Bitch, what are you paying her with? Because shit ain't free. I don't give a damn. I felt so bad for Contessa. I was like, this nigga. And then that shit, when Contessa said it, the Riddler, I don't. Let me tell you something. That That is a trigger for me. Don't talk to me in riddles, nigga. Don't do it. Because we can we can go around the carousel on some up and down on some uppity horses and shit. We can play the game. I don't like... I'll ask you every fucking question in every way imaginable. You would think I'm a motherfucking lawyer, bitch. Don't play with me with riddles and wordplay. Please watch where you going. What is wrong with people? Don't play that game with me. I, baby, it, yes, you about to be interrogated, nigga, what? I don't want to be interrogated. Um, These are questions that need answers. It is not an interrogation. Had you effectively communicated prior to this, it wouldn't feel like an interrogation. It would feel like a conversation because I would be asking you, how's it going with your life, coach? <laughs> and why haven't you changed? Furthermore, so what is she showing you? What, I, honey? I would have, baby. I would have been like, so what kind of tools has she given you? Let me see. What, what's going on? Any emails she sent you to do some work? What work has she told you to do? And why you haven't started? Because it's clear you haven't started because you treat Contessa like shit. I was like, Sky, you ain't shit. And the way I don't know if anybody else caught it, but I caught it. It was a glimpse of Scott's face. He looks so mad. Whoever edited, y'all did that on purpose. Because that I felt like that scene in the kitchen was so edited. Baby. I was like, ugh, six or seven months. But you was just at the other house saying that you wasn't down with the therapy shit. What the fuck? <laughs> Nigga, we got mixed. This is now. We got two different stories. Now, now I got questions. Because the stories aren't consistent, Riddler. <laughs> Put that out of here. <laughs> tired of Scott Metcalf I felt bad for Contessa go get you a girl go get you a girl go get you your 20% Scott go get you your your 20% honey go get it that's a mess and Lisa Nicole Cloud you are a crook you are a scammer you are a grifter you are a con artist you are a stunt queen, bitch, any, whatever. You know what the fuck? Girl, you don't own no lab. You been in business. When the fuck did you open a lab? Somebody told your ass, open a lab so you can get this money from these COVID tests. <laughs> get you a lab so you can get these money. You ain't slick, bitch. You ain't slick, Lisa. And they tried to tell your ass, I'm going to hit this corner one time, and then this is going to be the it for the review. They told y'all, everybody told, I love when uh, 
what's the girl name? Simone. And Cecil was in there. He was like, let me get a drink before you tell me this. She was like, you think Andrew Young gonna be fucking with us now? He said, and he wasn't fucking with y'all in the first goddamn place. He just started to laugh. Well, he started laughing when Lisa Lacoste's face was plastered on the damn TV screen. And this woman. <laughs> Lisa, girl, that was a mess. That was a mess. And Lisa be looking like she's about to take a shit. She's so constipated looking in her face. What? And then, girl, how are you yelling at Heavenly and no sound is coming out? What kind of yelling do you be doing? You told Heavenly she was a bully. You get in her face saying she's a bully because she's telling you you don't do business right, bitch. You on the news, girl. You on the local news, girl. Everybody sees your damn face. Class it up there. Your emotionless face. <laughs> Lisa Nicole ain't shit. Lisa Nicole ain't shit. Ain't shit. And Toya and Anila. Mm. Toya, you another one. Toya is... When they showed that clip... The front of that house is real cute. When they showed that clip of, she, of her saying, Are we friends? Are we cool? She says, Yes, of course. You're lying. You was lying then. You were lying. What you thought, you thought you was going to get this non-black girl to join these group of black girls and you was going to treat her like a punk in the group. That's You thought you was going to be able to punk her and do that. She was like, no, I'm not having it. Ooh, that was dramatic. I don't like the way that Toya is gaslighting the situation. She is gla gaslighting. I'm ga glad Anila said, you want to gaslight the situation? Watch this motherfucker blow up. I was like, okay, Anila, girl. Yes, Anila. Watch it blow up. You want to gaslight the situation? You want to catch some shit, shit on fire? All right. <laughs> Let's blow this motherfucker up then. That's what I'm talking about. I'm glad she walked out. Fuck Toya. Toya, bitch, you thought you was going to get up here and punk this girl and then be talking about her? And then, girl, how is Toya talking about Quad not having a job? Girl, what? Are you crazy? Like, that's the self-awareness that everybody says you lack you as a housewife are in no position to talk about a single woman not having a job as she maintains herself <laughs> would you be able to do live like that without eugene hell no hell no so you can't talk about nobody having a job bitch you really can't you really can't i was like toya ugh but I ain't, I ain't fuck with Toya since probably about season four. Because I was like, she used to be fun and stuff like that. But I was like, girl, you you in the group. you Y'all in the whole crew with the girls over there on um, Atlanta Housewives. Shamia and Portia and them. That's your crew. Uh-uh, I'm cool. Anyways, y'all, take care of each other. Protect your energy. We'll get down in the comments, I guess. Peace.